up YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be carrying on with these, which is the motors we took out of the cordless drill in last episode. Um, we're going to be basically these holes here, at the moment the end the motor's just turning freely. So what we need to do is lock off the gearbox inside of here using an M5 tap and some of these them, which are grub screws, and then when we turn the engine on, uh, the motor on, then it'll turn and do all the nice things. So here we are then. Uh, this is what you'll basically need. You won't need all of this, obviously, but these are some of the basic tools you'll need. You'll, uh, I don't actually have Allens, so I'm cheating a bit and I'm using um, whichever one of these is the right size of Torx. But you'd normally use an Allen key. A uh, pair of pliers, this is just A to make things easier and B because the eh, that bit anyway is broke. <laughs> so I can't use it. Uh, so we're already off to a fabulous start. You'll need an M5 tap. Uh, you need your motors and that's about it really. So let's get cracking. So here we are then, we have our motors ready to lock the gearboxes off. Um, this is actually a guide I'm following on the internet, uh, on YouTube, from Robo Wars Australia. Uh, I think in the last episode I said Robot Wars, it's actually Robo Wars. Um, so if you'd like to follow along and see where I'm getting my information from, I'll put a link in the description for that. But um, this isn't a sort of definitive guide, this is just... Uh, what I'm doing live, I haven't actually tried this or anything like this, is just what I'm doing. So uh, I thought this is, so I'll make the mistake so you don't have to. Let's go. So what do we want to do first is, these here, we want to tap a thread into these. Um, I'm not sure what size um, grub screw we're going to need yet, but we'll find out that as we come to it. Um, in the video, I think he only uses two. I'm going to use four just to make sure. Uh, he says that eight is just completely overkill, so I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I'm just going to put four in. So let's have a go. Uh, this should be interesting, by the way, because I don't have the original thing, but I found this. Um, it's actually a pair of cable strippers, but it fits that section perfectly there. So I'm going to have a go at tapping one of these threads and we'll see how it goes I'll get it started with the pliers and then I'll probably just actually no, I'll just get it started with, see if I can get it started with my fingers uh, probably do this one there we go, that's starting, now I can feel it starting to bite Uh, and uh, this is just a bit way of getting the thread started for your grub screws so I can feel it start to go there I'm not sure. Uh, we'll try the centimeter by so M5 by 10 mil first, and we'll see how that works. I've just found one out of my kit. Uh, again, this is a Torx, but it fits perfectly into there without much play, so we should be okay. Um, so that was the one I've started to tap. So if I it does make it so much easier like just that was silky smooth putting that in just starting that off uh, let's see where that's at now don't 
does seem to be working. We'll go a bit further. Just to make sure. Okay, we're hitting something hard there. So that's totally locked off the um, gearbox there. So we'll pull it back a little bit. Seems to be there, almost there. If I go a bit, tiny weeny bit further. Because you can hear it, um, if I try and, I can't turn it, but that's locking in between where the clutch would be. So I just want it to just be just shy of locking the entire gearbox off. Which I think that is now. There we go. Still sloping. Just a little bit of time to turn there. That seems to be good. So if we hopefully be able to turn the motor now. There we go, see? Can you hear the You hear the motor turning now, so that's a good sign. So, uh, if I lock it off, this is just an experiment now whether I leave this in or not. I don't know, depends how successful it is, but that's all the way in now. So, that's now got no play. Can we still turn? We can. So, we want. If I back that off slightly, that seems good now. That seems to have locked in quite well, and the motor's not obstructed. I'm just tearing the coating away because I'm an idiot. But there, yeah. So what you want to do, by the looks of things, is you want to put it in. Uh, just so it's like hit to get thing and then draw it back ever so slightly and then you don't get no play in the motor and now that's locked off I can't turn it with my fingers because my fingers aren't strong enough but um, yeah so I'm gonna continue tapping um, and putting in the other four and we'll move on to the other motor Incidentally, what I've discovered is the M8, uh, the 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 M5 by um, yeah eight mil grub screws are actually perfect size to sit flush with the motor here. So see they're flush there, so they won't get in the way of anything. Um, let me just see if the motor will turn. Now it's a little bit too tight there. So I'm going to back that off a little bit, back that off a little bit, and that's loose again now. I'd like it to be just short of shy of being loose, if possible, that's not even the right hole. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Going freely. So yeah, it's literally the eights are perfect because then they sit flush so you can't see those protruding at all there. Look at these big words, I don't know what it means. It means they're sticking out there. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on and uh, we'll be back. 
another quick tip um, I found that getting these straight um, if you've got a quite a big screwdriver like this it knocks against there and you can't really get it straight this isn't quite the right size but it works and it allows you to get that perfectly straight running into the engine there well was it perfectly straight but it's a lot straighter than the other one was okay we've finished putting the grub screws in the motor and uh, you can hear if I just hold on to this and turn there we go so it's locking up and there's not there's no play in there it's just just perfect and it just seems the perfect length is just just flush slightly protruding the uh, the plastic so what we're going to do now we're going to go onto our second motor and do the same So there's both the motors locked off. Um, I've got four uh, M5 by eight grub screws in each. So um, I picked up this pack of grub screws off the net for like 15 quid or something like that, I think they were, or $20, whatever it is, the American equivalent. Um, so not very expensive and it came with a bunch of them. And the, the reason I got a whole pack rather than just buying a few um, it's because this will come in handy, these will come in handy for uh, other projects and other parts of the robots. Uh, so next video, not sure when it will be, it might be a little while uh, when I can acquire some speed controllers, but it will be because um, I already have a transmitter, a receiver and all the other bits. So next video hopefully we'll be wiring it all in, creating a test bench of some description. Uh, also, uh, we need mounts as well. Next video will probably be mounts, and then the video after that will then be the test bench. So, I'll uh, hang the video up here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions or got any suggestions, or you just want to call me an idiot for the way I'm doing things, completely fine, all of them. Leave them down below, and uh, I shall see you next time. Bye-bye! No, I'm not ripping off Mark of Black. Bye! I am the demon.